Hey, what's up everybody? This is Liz Katz, and I'm gonna be in a movie. No, 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 not, not that kind of movie. Like, like a real movie, like with real actors and, and, and sag regulations and, and lines. And I'm in the foreground. And I say stuff. Cheers. <laughs> oh, cheers, you guys. Thank you so much. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy the cake. <laughs> I'm gonna go to yours, Linda, but it'll be all right. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Mainly it's uh, her dad, uh, what's the word? Like, he hates me. He hates me a ton. Okay, Blake's exaggerating. He doesn't hate you. He just, he's not too sure about you. Oh, come on. Who could hate those sad goat eyes? Now, Sarah's dad isn't so bad. Love me, right, Sarah? Uh, Kip, he, he, he did. And probably occasionally in the background, but the foreground as well. On September 4th, you can see me as Carrie in the upcoming comedy film Guest House. It stars Polly Shore, Amy Teagarden, Mike Castle. It has a bunch of other comedians in it, a ton of cameos. Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> it's an extremely raunchy, kind of like, it reminds me of an 80s style comedy. Back when they used to just get away with way more. I feel like now comedies are way, way more careful. We don't show or say or do as much, and Guest House just does it. It's about a newly engaged couple, you know, Sarah and Blake, who buy their dream house, but there's just one teeny tiny little problem that across the yard, across the way, past the pool, is a, a guest house, and Polly Shore lives in it. Are you guys here for the party? This is Tommy Lee's sex swing. Hell no. Polly Shore playing the character Randy Cockfield. Um, Polly Shore himself was quite a character on his own. Polly Shore playing Randy Cockfield was hysterical. In the movie I play as Carrie. I'm one of Sarah's best friends from college and one of the bridesmaids at her wedding. Out of the three bridesmaids, I'm definitely the ditzier, more lighthearted one. Um, Sarah's friends kind of come from a more pretentious upbringing, whereas Blake and his friends did not. And I think I'm a little more open to that. So this was my first time ever actually getting a supporting role in a movie. It was super exciting. Um, just arriving to set, even though you had to arrive super early, I'm talking like get there at 5.30 in the morning. Even though everyone was just running around and no one was ready for makeup till around like 6.30, I'd say. Uh, you get there super early. Um, we had trailers. I was informed that when you're like doing a SAG movie, everyone has to have a trailer. So. We had trailers, but because the director wanted the money that we did have and the budget to go to the movie itself, the trailers were, um, you know, they were what you'd expect from your first movie. They're, they're start, it's a starter trailer. So needless to say, most of the cast opted to use the bathrooms inside the house and the guest house that were in the movie. Uh, not, not the trailer. So I don't have one from every day that I was working there. I was, I was on about three or four days. Um, but I did find one of the call sheets from, I guess this would be the wedding day I was working on Guest House. You can see everyone else who was there that day. And you can see how well I've taken care of this <laughs> with all of its wrinkles. But this is something I'm definitely gonna keep because it was, like I said, a super cool experience. Immediately when I found out that I was gonna do guest house, I quickly got into acting classes. I took them for months leading up to it. It was just super excited. I wanted to get myself more comfortable and I didn't want to like embarrass myself. Guest House was just a super fun movie to shoot. Um, we had a lot of freedom. There was a lot of freedom to kind of ad lib things, to kind of come up with pieces of our own scenes. And that to me was super fun and super cool and unexpected. Uh, there was just this whole team feeling that we were in on this together. There were even t-shirts. One of our last days of shooting, Polly actually had these shirts made and handed them out to everyone. Let's go up the front. I got the back. 
So the days I was there shooting, there was me, Amy, Michaela, Nikki, and uh, Charlotte was there one or two days as well. And because the trailers were kind of lackluster, uh, we all kind of just decided to chill in the house. We kept claiming whatever bedrooms were free as kind of like where we would congregate. I'm working on a thing and in a silly outfit for the thing that I'm not supposed to go into detail about with the thing. My name is Amy. Amy. I'm not great at typing and talking at the same time. Oh. Polly, do you, do you want to say hi too? Mm -hmm. Just say hi. The lighting's yeah, really terrible. It is. It's really bad there. Yeah. Got Polly back there. That face makes it so much better though. It just kind of looks like some sort of weird slumber party. So to give you a little inside information, uh, where Guest House comes from is kind of a funny story. So uh, my former partner, Sam Macaroni, the director of Guest House, and I were looking for houses about five or six years ago. And we were looking in Glendale for a house to rent. And we were looking at one that was a pretty cool modern house. It was uh, pretty affordable and it was pretty big compared to all the other ones we saw. And it had this yard and it had a guest house. And I was like, the guest house would make a perfect office. But the guest house was locked. So I asked the realtor to let us in and he informed us the groundskeeper had been staying there. Um, he had to go get the groundskeeper and uh, make sure he was there and open the door. So they opened the door and this groundskeeper is, does not look like a groundskeeper. This looks like some guy living there. <laughs> We can't look in. There's this overwhelming just smell of smoke and I don't know, regret. And every surface of this place is covered in like cigarette ash and her cigarette butts everywhere. And then there's all, there's this countless amount of jugs filled with this yellow, probably urine-like substance just everywhere in here. And there's all these really nasty bundled up tissues on every surface inside this tiny little guest house. So it's sort of like, mm -hmm. the realtor uh, tried to assure us that this guy would be out by the time we moved in. Uh, when we left though, Sam was like, there is no way that guy's ever leaving. And then Sam was like, this would make a really good movie about a guy who won't leave the guest house. And uh, instead of doing what most of us do and just saying that, and, Completely forgetting about it, uh, Sam started running the treatment and he then pulled in our friends Troy Duffy, Blue Not Saints, and Sean Bishop, and they wrote Guest House. As you can see from the photos that I posted, I was able to find the listing for the house that inspired Guest House. Um, I even found a newer listing that, as of today, says it was updated one month ago. If you must come and see in person to appreciate, guest house will be occasionally occupied by same tenant. It is detached from actual home. Call for details. So someone may actually be dealing with this. Make sure you buy or rent guest house September 4th, wherever you watch your movies, Amazon, iTunes, what have you. I know some of you follow me for my witch, but others of you might just be here wondering, are your boobs in it? You're going to have to watch to find out. Oh, my God.